I love red. As I pulled on a deep red shirt one morning last week, I looked out the window to check on one of the painters that were giving my ironwork and shutters a fresh coat. I love red, I said aloud. I finished dressing and went out for a closer look. The paint is never shinier than the day it goes on. My friend, Phil, the boss, was still here. All right, these are my guys. I wish I, I, wish I could get painting done like all the time. Because you guys are so good. Well, we're just moving in the back, that's what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> I had that. <laughs> I told him how much I loved this red. This color does not have a white base, like most paints, he informed me. It has a clear base. That's how you get the pure color, he said. Love, 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 love this color. And that's why I love it, I told him. I went to art school, and I'm a sucker for pure color, especially this red. Let's face it, paint fades. And this was the color of the railing before they painted it again today. This is how awesome these painters are. Even though I told them not to worry about this railing, this side of the railing, because the trumpet vines completely cover it, but the exposed section right here, they painted. Oops, paint there on the trumpet vine and my hand. I returned to the kitchen and came face to face with my dried peppers. In fact, my Morris Bieber peppers were the same color as the paint. Okay, I'm finally going to do it. I'm going to grind my peppers. And I'm going to just grind them all together because I don't want to try to separate them and have different powders. So I'm just going to have one super kick butt chili powder. This is the orange tie. There is some Mara's Bieber and some, some more Turkish peppers in here. Long red cayenne. Phileas Blue, these are all. So, here we go. <laughs> I decided today's the day to grind them. They've been taking up space for four months. All but the Caribbean red habaneros were dry. And they would be too if only I quartered them and removed the seeds like I did last year. I sent a message to Jack Davis in Phoenix that I was going to finally grind my peppers, and she wrote back, be sure to wear a mask. As soon as I read that, I remembered my coughing fit for an hour after my first stint grinding my cayennes last year, but I didn't have a mask. So I improvised and wore a bandana. Good thing I did. Some of this year's peppers were a lot hotter than the Cayennes. If the top snaps right off, it's dry. doesn't snap off. They're not quite dry. 
and you need to let them dry. I don't have a dehydrator. If I did, this would be a whole lot quicker process. But these peppers have been sitting on my table and my counter for months. first take it off there's this huge gust and that's why you need to wear a mask otherwise you're gonna get it right up your nose <coughs> oh god I can feel that through my mask <coughs> how is that possible Adding the seeds adds a lot more flavor and heat. This is enough hot powder for me for the rest of my life. So I really don't need to grow peppers again, ever. <laughs> but they're so beautiful. I just love it. when they're drying they get moldy. So it's a good idea to cut them in half. The bigger peppers, cut them in half. remove any seeds this year, which results in a much lighter color of chili powder. But I just didn't want to take the time. And the seeds provide a lot of heat and flavor. Clearly your powder is going to be a lot darker red if you don't grind the seeds in it. And you get a lot more powder. And I'm keeping these intact to grind fresh for garum masala. These I am keeping for decoration. Continuing the red theme, it was time to eat some breakfast and I tested out my new chili powder on some scrambled eggs with a side of my last few Boutingan cherry tomatoes. All right, let's try it. Prepare to see smoke come out of my ears. <clears throat> That's good. <laughs> Just the right amount of pepper. Mm. Wow. Then it occurred to me that I often wear red on this channel and rounded up all my late bloomer shirts in various shades of red. And thanks to Jack Davis, I'll have red banded sugarcane growing here in the garden. But I can't wait to get these planted. I'll be using more red voil over my brassicas this winter, but for me, red is best used as an accent to brighten up my world. I hope this vlog hey, has brightened up yours. Come on. Just a little. Hi. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hi. I'm only touching her where she can't lick. Just in case. Thanks for watching. Seriously, okay?